Hello Navigator, in this video we will be talking about the static electricity on board tanker ship. Uh, our concern is what we must know as a minimum to ensure safe operation on board a ship. So let's directly get into the topic. Static electricity is created or produced by friction that occurs between dissimilar materials during relative motion. There are three basic stages, charge separation, charge accumulation and electrostatic discharge. So here we need to understand how this charge can be separated from a material. Atom is the core part of any material. Atom looks like a small ball where the nucleus or the center is having a positive charge and around it there is negative charge that is called electron and these electrons are like floating around the center or the nucleus. These electrons tends to jump from this place to another place with the outside influence. That is the core thing we need to understand. When the cargo passes through the pipeline, as the cargo is a liquid item and the pipeline through which it is passing can be like made of steel and when these two material get friction then the electrons get released from both of this material let's say the cargo become positively charged now when the cargo finds her way to the tank to the particular tank where it is loading there is a opening that is the mouth of the loading line so far we understand the charge separation and charge accumulation now we need to understand when there is chances of electrostatic discharge there are many chances to get this electrical discharge option uh, this positive charge try to become equilibrium that means it try to get the negative charge and become settled and there are chances of this inside the tank now let me explain how and when this spark can happen or electrostatic discharge can happen as the cargo is being loaded into the tanks the charges increases with the time and with the air bubbles the tends to creation of the charge becomes even more at the same time all the sharp edges inside the tank start becoming negatively charged due to the influence of this positive charge of the cargo most common example for this sharp edges inside the tanks are like opening mouth of the loading line fixed tank cleaning nozzles sampling and uti logs so as i said as the cargo get into the ship's cargo tank the accumulated charge also finds way to flow into the cargo tanks. Due to its presence, all the sharp edges inside the cargo tanks get agitated and create charges. Water and air bubbles in cargo increases the charging of static accumulators while flowing into the pipeline. This can further increase by the subsequent movement of water settling within the cargo. Electrostatic discharge occurs when there is sufficient voltage difference between the positive and negative charges. And if the cargo is highly flammable, then there is a very high possibility of the explosion. That is the main hazard we are concerned about that there may have explosion or fire inside the cargo tank. Now we need to discuss something else. The natural consequence when the cargo is being loaded inside the tank regarding this electrostatic charge. What happens basically with the time it gets settled. Number one, merge negative and positive charges together. And number two, earthing or grounding take place through the ship's hull. How it happens? It happens through the conductor. Every charge finally it goes to the earth. Most reliable final destination for this charge. So that are the two ways uh, to settle down. Now question is how long it takes to settle down. It takes about 30 minutes for a, a medium sized tanks in a tanker ship. That is why the industry suggests us to wait 
for at least 30 minutes. If the cargo is having uh, water particles within it, the chances of creating this uh, electrical charge becomes more. The most common remedy from this explosion hazard or fire hazard is inerting the tank. Inerting the tank means to keep the oxygen content inside the tank below 8% which will not allow any kind of spark to generate the fire. So this is how we can remain in the safe side. In this video and I hope to meet you in the next video.